Hey guys, hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the advanced Java programming important questions uh, that is the model paper questions as well as some of the internal question papers as for the 2021 scheme of uh, VTU. So first module, let's discuss about the important questions. First, uh, first question we have is difference between auto boxing and unboxing. Followed by that, we have uh, Java programs also, which uh, you have to build to create an enumeration class of seasons and demonstrate the usage of value and value of method. Followed by that, we have what is annotations, explain the various types of retention policies of annotations, then uh, several methods like ordinal method compared to method and equals method, what is type wrapper class, explain with numerical type and uh, type wrapper with example. Then what are the built-in annotations in Java, followed by that, what are enumerations and explain the two predefined methods. Explain the single member annotations with program. Then build a Java program to demonstrate working on enum type day using switch statement. Then illustrate with examples marker annotations, single member annotation as well as multiple member annotations. So guys, these questions from module one are very much important. Uh, we can expect one one programs from each module. So you have to write the entire whole thing, the program explanation along with the output. So these questions have occurred the maximum number of times. Uh, coming back to the subject of advanced Java programming. Yes, it was there from your 2015 scheme onwards with the same syllabus except the module two. Module two, we have generics. Uh, so let's see. And the syllabus was also quite same. So there is no as such any uh, at, I would suggest you guys to refer the question uh, from uh, 15 scheme onwards because um, going before that will make uh, new topics so please don't get motivated to all those things uh, follow 15 scheme onwards question paper next we have is generics this is the new topic which is included in the syllabus this time what are generics explained with uh, example program followed by that we have uh, bounded wildcards and erasure write a program for generic interface then uh, how to improve time safety uh, then, con then write a program that contains generic class with two types of parameters, explain ambiguity error, then note on Java class hierarchies and generic restriction, explain generic constructor with a sample program, then followed by that we have built a Java program to create a generic method that contains two types of parameters and returns a boolean value. So all this module explanation is all, all these uh, questions uh, are mainly solved and explained properly in uh, the module wise uh, video so you can go just you can just go and refer the playlist uh, everything is uploaded guys uh, next we have is module 3 that is strings. Uh, first question is define string and explain the various types of constructing a string object. Followed by that we have the different methods uh, explained with syntax as well as example. So uh, whenever the questions come like this make sure guys you write the syntax as well as the sample uh, function of the program. Substring, concat, replace and trim. Then you have is the, uh, develop a Java program to count the number of occurrence of a character in a string. What is a string buffer? Then uh, explain reverse method. Then followed by that we have several character extraction method also carat and two char array explain insert and append uh, string buffers then uh, build a java program that prompts the user for the name state and display the capital then explain the string uh, explain string builders explain compare to and compare to ignore case method uh, write a program in java to sort the name using bubble sort explain the character handling functions so guys all these uh, questions uh, are already explained in the video it itself you can just go and refer the video properly then uh, next module is module 4 uh, which is nothing but servlets. Uh, first question is explain life cycle of the servlet. Then write a JSP to accept two parameters from a web page, find the sum of them and display the result in a web page. Also write the HTML script as well. Read the question properly. It is asked like uh, yes you have to write the HTML script uh, content as well. So for this program you have to write both the JSP, Java as well as the HTML uh, file for uh, this question. Next we have is explain how cookies are, handling, uh, are handled using servlet. What is JSP? Explain different types of JSP tags. Next, we have a question write a program to create a, a name with a name username cookie a value is at ABC and also display the result which is stored in the cookie. Next, we have is explain HTTP get request and HTTP post request. Followed by that, we have explained the sessions in JSP, explain the core class and interface of jvx.servlet uh, pa package, then difference between servlet and JSP, then advantages of ser uh, servlets over the CGI scripts. So these 11 questions uh, were most repeated questions which have appeared in all the video papers as well as some of the internal question papers as well. Not only this along with the model question paper also. The last module that is a uh, module 5 that is JDBC first question we have is to explain the different uh, steps involved in JDBC process with the code snippets. You have to write each and individual code snippets after of each and every step like how you are initial, initializing the JDBC driver then you are executing a query all those uh, things have been already explained in the video. Explain the four types of JDBC drivers. Then we have is explain the three kinds of exceptions that has occurred in the in JDBC. Discuss scrollable result set that built a Java program to open a connection with the database. 
short notes callable statement transaction processing updatable result set so for all these things guys you have to write the uh, program also and give the explanation of the program write a java program to execute database transaction what is what are database drivers what is connection pooling what is a safe point and build a java program to connect the database that means here they have already mentioned what will be your driver name what is the url password and uh, username you are passing and what the query operation you have to do Okay, so it's already mentioned retrieve all the rows and uh, rows with the marks greater than 60 and table name is also given it should be student and fields whatever is given is and the USN should be a varchar type that is 20 and marks should be of integer value at the same time name should be varchar. So uh, this video we have covered all the important types important questions uh, which can appear in your video exam. I repeat these are just important questions these are not the exact questions. Uh, so make sure you study each and every topic very much properly. And all these important, all these questions have occurred maximum number of times. So yes, I would say give more focus to these kind of questions. Okay. And uh, please watch the videos, whatever I have uploaded in the channel, all the model wise uh, individual uh, topics has been explained very much properly. Till then like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys. All the best for your exam.